far as just being back on the field, what has it been like to be back on the field for you? Uh, it just feels great, man, just being able to you know, compete every day uh, with my teammates. And just, just the first day out there, it, was just, it just felt great, man. As far as just the, some of the things that you've been working on, you know, you're kind of an elder statesman. What have you been looking to find, too? Say that one more time. What have, you, what have you been trying to, like, get better at and find, too, with your game? Uh, basically just getting stronger, you know, um, working on using my hands a little bit more, you know, playing more discipline and, uh, you know, just staying healthy. So coming off the year you had with the injury and right. now getting a chance to get healthy again and get a right. full year in, what are your personal expectations and expectations for the team? Uh, personal expectations just to come out here, you know, every day and compete, uh, give my best effort at all times. And for the team, it's just the same pretty much, you know, just coming out here competing, getting better every day as a team, uh, getting, cl getting closer together, knowing our, knowing our uh, brothers more, and basically just going out there and fighting for each other each day. I kind of feel like you missed out on a lot of stuff last year because of the injury and the amount of time you had to spend on the sideline? Um, I mean, not really. I feel like, you know, uh, in every situation you learn, I feel like I learned more, you know, basically just, you know, being out, you know, learning more about the defense, learning more about the team, just learning more about myself, different things like that. Having Coach Scott now as part of the, the defensive line coaching group, uh, how is that uh, affecting you? Do you do much with him? How, how, how is he working in with what you guys are doing? Uh, you know, his, his main focus really de-tackles, but, you know, just his experience, you know, he kind of gives me different tips, you know, here and there, just telling me, you know, how to take my game to the next level. What have you noticed that Zach, when he's been, gotten here, obviously he got, came in with a lot of uh, a lot of attention, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, he's a big dude. He's uh, very athletic, and, you know, he's just the type of guys we need, you know, just big, athletic, and that's ready to play. Do you see him more working at, at end, or, or is he moving, working more inside? Uh, I feel like he can do both. Um, his primary, you know, he's focused on tackle, but I feel like at the end of the day, he, he, can, he can step out on the edge if he have to. How about with Joe Anderson, what have you seen out of him? His uh, first Joe Anderson, he's also, you know, going to be a pretty good kid. Uh, you know, he works hard. Uh, he's primarily at end right now. With, with JJ and the year he had last year, what were your impressions of him and how he sort of came along throughout the season last year? Uh, you know, JJ's came a long way. I feel like he, he's going to be great as well. Uh, he's very versatile. He played, you know, he played uh, D-tackle last year. Uh, he's moving to kind of end. So basically just having him, uh, we can put him anywhere on the, on the field. And I, there was some talk about you maybe trying to get that year back last year from the NCAA. Uh, are, are you expecting this just to be your senior year or kind of where's the process at? You know, I'm expecting this to be my senior year. I'm not, I haven't really, you know, I haven't really heard much from him. But, uh, you know, I'm training every day like this is just my last. So, yeah. what's, what's that like, knowing that this is probably going to be your last year and, and you're looking to make the jump after this year, after you kind of go through the season? Um, it's just, you know, just taking it day by day, um, getting better, you know, just having fun every moment because, you know, it's my, it's my last, last, last year. As you guys as a team look ahead to this year with the schedule that you've got, right. what kind of expectations are you holding for this coming season? Uh, expectation, you know, just you know, uh, playing hard, you know, getting more, getting the ball more uh, last year, you know, that was that's a big emphasis this year, and playing more for our brothers, you know, uh, we you know we did like different things, you know, just to know our brothers more, and playing together and just stuff like that. SEC grind this year though a little tougher. You get Alabama and then all the improved teams around the league that you'll be playing this year, plus Clemson at the very end, challenging. Uh, you know, it's a challenge every week. You know, it doesn't matter who we play. It's, it's always going to be a challenge. You know, we respect every opponent. Uh, but, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to this season this year. As far as the aspect of this just being your last year, like, does it seem like yesterday you're just showing up and a freshman and, and kind of going through all this? For, for oh, the yeah, time? most definitely. It feels like, you know, I just literally just walked, came into college, you know, every day. But, you know, I'm enjoying it and uh, just, just having fun each day. How about your brothers? Freshman season. Now that y'all can kind of look back on that. Oh, he had a, he had a, he had a pretty good year. Uh, there's a lot of things he can improve on to take his game to the next level. But I'm looking for big things out of him this year too.